Over two years ago, I made a Dragon Ball Super tier list, power ranking all the characters knowing virtually nothing about like 90% of them. No, wait, he looks like a stronger version of him. Ah! Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna vomit. Today, I am going to be finally reacting to it and making a brand new fresh tier list for you guys to get mad at me for. Let's see if this time I can go without making the entire Dragon Ball community absolutely hate me. Okay, so I'm gonna leave all the categories S, A, B, C, D. Uh, we, we're pretty much gonna keep this the exact same. And then that way you can sort of compare it side by side. So let's take uh, care of some of the easier characters. Like uh, Zeno's going right into S. I should honestly give him his own category but again we're gonna leave it relatively the same these three comedic relief all right together oh my god this guy looks no. hilarious this little robot thing i'm gonna put him well oh, we're doing power though we'll do b i feel like oh so we know beerus would probably go into a champa goes into a as well but beerus is definitely stronger also for bro i know this is broly but it's super broly and there's like some broly characters like this person those i'll pretty much just be guessing but i'm honestly gonna tentatively put broly low low a just because i know he's insanely strong let's see lasagna i think is actually a high b because it took uh three of them to take him down it took uh android 17 and I think Goku and Vegeta, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Kaba, look at those young eyes, this poor kid. Listen, he's ahead of his time. He just needs a little bit more time to cook, become like more in tune with his Super Saiyan powers, but he is gonna go at C for now. Maybe like a mid C. Cauliflower was a little bit ahead of him too. She's gonna go in the same tier, just higher. This pink Vegeta, I haven't watched those filler episodes and I've only heard he was kind of a joke. So he's gonna go into D. This looks like Vegeta, but he's like coated in bubble gum. Uh, I'll put him at A. Wait, that's so cute. Cute. That is so adorable. I mean, Bulma isn't a fighter. This is all a power scaling tier list. Should go and see. How is Bulma in C? Bulma gets pummeled. The, her entire thing is like how smart she is. She's not a fighter. This is a strength tier list. What am I doing? I knew who Bulma was at this point. I'm trolling. I'm comment baiting. There's absolutely no way. Boo, I think think would be low b chi chi also not a fighter that's an easy one i'm gonna be honest this just looks like a random frieza force member i guess i'm pretty sure they're from broly gonna go and probably just low d yeah right, let's do all of the trio of danger at once where's the other wolf so we know that bergamo is the strongest and i think this one is lavender and this one's Basil? Bergamo's the strongest, but even that isn't very strong. I'd probably put him like right above Kaba. I mean, he was matching like Goku's energy. Basically, he like, I'm pretty sure he absorbs your energy and then like it makes him stronger basically. And Goku just overpowered that. Lavender the poison? I mean, the poison was really strong and it can be a big counter to a lot of people. So I'm just gonna put him right underneath them. And Basil just kicked, man. I don't know. I'd honestly probably put him like high D. Android 17 and 18. I I feel like they're around the same. 17, of course, lasting way longer in the Tournament of Power. No, I think they would be the same. I don't know. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Is 17 stronger or 18? Or are they about the same? I want to put both of them probably in low B tier, like right underneath Boo. I think Boo still beats them, but like it's close. They're both very strong too. I think yep. I would put them both at B. Ah! Okay, I had just met them. Okay. Now this is Gogeta, I believe also from the Broly movie, but Gogeta is also the fusion in like the Janemba movie. So I'm guessing it's a about on the same level as Broly, if not like a little bit higher because it's two Saiyans and one. I don't think on the level of destroyers, but again, that one's kind of a guess. This is just again, human level. I almost feel always bad rating Piccolo because I want him to be better. But I mean, man, like uh, the writing inconsistencies, like he was eliminated by a bug that he could not hear with his super Supersonic hearing. Low B, high C. Honestly, high C. I mean, if we take into account Dragon Ball Super Superhero, low B. Well, we'll take into account Superhero. Gohan is a very big one because in Superhero he gets Beast Gohan, and Lord knows how powerful that 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 form is. I've seen a lot of discussion on the comparison between that and like Blue and an Ultra Instinct. All we know is it's stupid strong. Maybe like right under Gogeta. 
That one is in, is really tough to say. McKenna's definitely going to place way higher. I'd honestly probably put him like right above Piccolo. But Tama was just disappointing, man. Both in the Zeno Expo and the Tournament of Power. Just such a like, relatively strong ability that he just didn't really use. The thing is, would he win in a fight against Lavender? Like Lavender's Poison? Probably. But he just doesn't have any battle IQ. Lavender was at least kind of like deranged about it. That looks like Winnie the Pooh. Let's That's what I called him the entire watch through. Honestly, Winnie the pool looks like a freaking unit oh i mean he did look strong but he was very disappointing the thing about jiren is technically he did beat ultra instinct goku i think because i mean goku was pretty much passing out and they kind of had to like 3v1 with like frieza and android 17. now where would jiren compare to like broly or like beast gohan the thing is broly's still a tough one i'm gonna put jiren a little bit higher though jiren that looks a like any I mean, Jiren's an S, but that's not bad. Is this Bardock? Listen, man, Bardock, you're cool and all. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Bardock fans. Uh, hi, C? Yeah? All right, Goku's next. Goku's gonna pro See, the thing is, is Ultra Instinct Goku stronger than Gohan? Beast what? Gohan? Beast Gohan is something here. I'm gonna safely put him right above his son still, for now. We'll see. These are literally all the same character. <laughs> Okay, this is just Krillin's daughter. Why is she in a power tier list? Let's just do the entire group from Rebrian's universe, shall we? Everybody that I can find. This guy, uh, this guy, this guy. This is a baby. This girl, Rebrian herself. And then where's, oh, her. Yep, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't forget them the rest of my life. I can't believe six of them are in this tier list. Uh, Rebrian definitely the strongest from that universe, I think. She's kind of the MC there. There's some alternate universe where there's an entire show about Rebrian that nobody is still watching man these guys were just really disappointing i mean i almost don't even want to put him above basil i'm gonna put him here him here actually it looks like some demented version of frieza that's like a billion times more power i put him in s oh my gosh rebrian probably like right above Ooh. cauliflower no i don't think even above cauliflower maybe right above bergamo and then her two lackeys i think are stronger than the two other guys from the universe but still like nothing crazy and i still don't think even beat basil i mean chaotsu is he allowed to just explode <laughs> does that count as winning <laughs> yeah chaotsu probably around like high d tier as well sorry buddy we got the angels the angels are a little bit easier i'm also gonna put them in s tier too like next to zeno of course not above zeno but this is the grand minister i think his name is called and then we have vados and weiss where's weiss i don't know if there it's been confirmed like if vados or weiss is stronger i'm gonna put weiss higher just because i'm biased both of them look kind of similar so i'll put them both ah! Let's see ah! Jack, they literally look like deities. They literally look like deities. They're looking down on people. The longer this goes on, the harder it is because then I, then I start comparing characters. Oh, this guy from Rebrand's Universe 2. Yeah, he goes right down here. Probably the Yard Radians a little bit higher. Also from the Broly movie, dude, there's just no way for me to guess this one. There's just no way. She really does look like a side character and she has a very side character-y outfit. So, pff, I mean, I'm just gonna say like right above, Chao right under Chaozu maybe even under Rebrian's lackeys. Trunks and Goten are tough ones because together, of course, they're strong. But also, we have to consider, like, the other timeline Trunks, and he's relatively strong. Probably, like, right under Boo, above the androids. Goten is strong, but mm, I don't think even on that tier. Maybe, like, right under Piccolo. Is this Gohan? That kind of looks... Is Goten? Gohan, I guess, in A? <laughs> Roshi. Roshi's a tough one because I've never seen OG Dragon Ball, so I only have my limited knowledge. But here's the thing. Manga Roshi is built different. I was in a call with my friend Diddy Sauce the other day, and we decided to start, like, looking at the manga differences and for the Tournament of Power. There is a panel in the Tournament of Power where Roshi uses, like, a very broken form of ultra instinct like a very primitive form to dodge jiren's punches it's absolutely incredible with that being said though i'd probably put him like right here i don't know magetta's a really tough opponent like insane defenses since orange piccolo exists i think i need to take that into account actually i don't know how strong orange piccolo is to be honest i'm gonna leave him there for now right above boo these three this is another one that i'm gonna be kind of affected by not watching og i mean they're kind of just goofballs now man like they're not getting much done 
I'll put him above above uh, uh, Chao Tzu. I'm actually going to lower Chao Tzu. I'm sorry, little buddy. Right there. Uh, Hit, the ultimate assassin. I'm going to move Trunks down below the androids. I'm going to put Hit right above the androids. I don't know. No, right above Boo. I think Hit could find a weakness to Boo, but I think him against Orange Piccolo would be rough. In fact, I'm going to move Lasagna right below Hit. He looks like Frieza's older brother. Put him in A, okay? W pass Jack. He might be S, honestly. So this is another Broly character, I think. Again, looks very side character -y. She's even got a scouter. Very primitive, man. Gonna go below the pink Vegeta. Frieza. Oh my gosh. Frieza's honestly a character that has confused me more than a lot of others throughout the entire series, just in terms of how strong he is, because he could be even stronger. That's why he got Golden Frieza, was from his first ever attempt at even working on himself, his first self care. I think Frieza's gonna go low A tier right under broly oh wait we have adult trunks it's like other timeline tr oh get out of here kid trunks go down next to goten and then we're gonna put adult trunks right here boom i don't know now I, now i'm gonna i think i'm gonna move kid trunks and goten down to the high c kev was very strong goku really sweat against her had to use like uh the, the the very first form of ultra instinct does she win against hit that's like 50 50. I'm going to put her right above hit. And then Kale. I mean, Berserker Kale is strong, but she doesn't have that much control. Berserker Kale probably beats Lasagna. Maybe hit. I don't know. Kale is a, Kale's a tough one because you can't predict. Both of them looks pretty strong. Oh, strong. I put both of them in B. Kale and Cauliflower in B. B. I mean, honestly, they could go in A. Oh, I did not even see Mr. Satan there. I'm so sorry. Right where he rightfully deserves. I'm gonna put him B. Oh. Topo. Let's talk about Destroyer Topo. Destroyer Topo is an absolute beast. I kind of wish this fight against Vegeta didn't end with Vegeta having to use that, like, sort of bomb, like, you know, final bomb of the suicide attack. Some people say it cheapened it from Z. I just think Topo, like, Destroyer Topo could have gone a different way, like, his defeat at least. But again, referencing the manga way better than his manga finish wherever he's just standing on a rock next to dispo they ask jiren for help and then jiren's just like nah i'm good so let's do topo and dispo actually at the same time dispo's cool he's very fast i don't think he steps to the androids though destroyer topo man i think highest tier b maybe low tier a oh that's tough i'm gonna put him low tier a honestly this guy is topo a. yes i swear both of these are king vegeta am i stupid i want to put this guy like like right above Chao Tzu. I did Wait, no, this is, uh, wasn't this Frieza's servant? Yeah, he's staying there still. I really don't know about these two. I'm gonna put them both like next to Bardock just out of sheer confusion. Yamcha. Oh, Yamcha. Um, I mean, he's not terrible. Uh, he's losing to Lavender in a fight, but I think uh, he could figure... No, he's not figuring out Batamo. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Krillin! Um... All right, let's just pull the mandate off. He's going right next to Yamcha. Krillin's like maybe stronger than Yamcha. And like, I don't know. I don't know how strong Krillin is. Tien, I'll put Tien a little bit higher just because Tri-Beam is absolutely busted out the wazoo. I'm actually going to put Tien at the top of C tier. Vegeta! I mean, he, uh, at the, by the end of Super, he has that like sparkly blue and he defeats Tapo. Does he defeat Frieza? I think barely. Looks unconfident. Looks like he's about to die, honestly. To C tier you go. This guy has this... This is Vegeta, right? Did I just put Vegeta in C tier? Frost is kind of just a coward, man. I think like hands off, he like he loses mo Actually, I'm gonna move Piccolo to bottom of A. And then let's put Frost like right up uh, right under hit. Uh, honestly under lasagna. Honestly under Boo. Maybe under the androids too, and under Dispo. He might be trunks in a 1v1. The doctor, dude, I'm gonna be honest. I I'm pretty sure this guy like frauded his entire diploma. I don't even think he's an actual doctor. He's going under pink Vegeta. Fused Zombie. Zamasu is very strong. The thing, hang on. The thing is, do we take into account his like invincibility? Like his existence forever? I don't think we can, because then he would just go on S tier, like bottom of S tier. I think we take into account his skills as a fighter, which is on A tier level, probably right here. I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put Fuse Zamasu there. This looks pretty strong. Zamasu! Zamasu and S! Is May has a shotgun, so she's gonna go here. I'm, I'm gonna move this this trio down like here too. Goku Black? I mean, he seemed like a menace at first. And he beat out Trunks and whatnot. I think Goku Black goes like 
right above lasagna. I think Hit can kind of figure his way out with him. Berserker, Kale, Kefla, yeah. Uh, Vegito! Dude, the, the, the like discussion between Vegito and Gogeta always confused me, but but I mean, like I said, I still haven't seen Broly, so I really don't know which is stronger. I think Vegito goes on A, a tier no matter what. Of course, he gotta be stronger than Vegito because it's plus Goku. Is Vegito stronger than Broly and Jiren? I feel like Broly might be stronger than Jiren. We're gonna put Vegito right here, I think. All right, Jocko. Um, Jocko's a C tier for sure. I mean, he's got the skills to pay the bills. He's he's agile. Does he have much beyond that? Not really. Gonna go above the kids in C tier. This robot looks semi strong. This is like Jocko in B. In fact, I'm gonna move the kids down probably there. Wait, how did Caulfla get here? I feel like should be in B. I'll put Caulfla at the very top of, of C, I think. Uh, Goasu? I mean, <laughs> dude, what? <laughs> What does he do? He has like a god buff, but like, is he doing much with it? Not really. I'll put him below freaking Roshi, honestly. Okay, these two Namekians are really confusing because I was expecting a lot more from them. They quite literally had their entire Namekian race like fused inside of them and they still let down. So, I mean, even with that much power, they didn't even know how to use it that well. I'll put them both like one above Mageta. I, I don't know. I don't even feel good that, about doing that, to be honest. This looks like Piccolo. Uh, but I feel like he's not strong. That's just racist. That's actually just racist. Oh my gosh. Wait, I remember his name. Hang on. I remember it. Let me lock in. It's something Soretta. Poor Soretta. Poor Soretta. Oh my, this is going to bother me. Cato Pesra. I wasn't even close. I mean, he was fun. He was gimmicky. Uh, I'll put him like one under Rebrit now. I don't think he even beats the trio. I'll put him right there. I'm going to be honest. Don't know who this is. I think also from the Broadway movie, he's going to go right there. This guy, I think, was Vege or Frieza's like, uh, like lead. I mean, what did he do? You know, I'll put him right here. And then this one doesn't look strong at all. All right. That's w it. finish. W Super finish. I no idea. I don't even know if this guy from the is from the Broly movie. I think both of these are. Oh my gosh. I Supreme Kai. He's actually the definition of what does he do? I'm gonna put him like under Goasu, honestly. What was uh what was the clan's name from Jiren's universe? I mean, he's a destroyer. Probably a little bit stronger than Choppa, but he doesn't 1v1 Beerus. Base Zamasu? Probably like right under black she's just human level i'm not gonna rate these because like i don't know them so i think this is it i feel very very good about this actually and all the rows are even in order so with that being said i want you to comment down below your thoughts on my tier list and how i've improved over the years because i mean this is looking good drop a sub and i'll catch you next time peace peace